Hi everyone, in this video I want to talk about the WPML free alternatives and the ones, the first that I want to show it's Wiglot but they only have a plan for 2000 words so if you have only a very small website and only planning to use one language then you can try out Wiglot another alternative is Translate Press Translate Press it's even better for a free version in comparison to Wiglot. You can start also release if you have a small website for probably five pages, 10 pages, or even more. But also the good thing if if you want some more freemium version or more features, you can see here on their pricing, this is other alternative so that you can start also using some more SEO translation of the metadata or the even the URL. So if you're focusing more on internationalization of your websites, then Translate Press is a good plugin. But also if you're only aiming for to translate and have it in different languages, a small website, then Translate Press could be a good option. The thing is that the free version has manual translation, so that's also another thing to consider. And another plugin that it's free and that has an automatic translation is G-Translate. Probably still the translation is not really high accurate, but it's, it's fast. It can help you with the translation pretty quick, but the free version doesn't help with the SEO of your website also neither with the URL translation so that's another thing to consider and you can also jump to paying prices for monthly or yearly subscriptions so that you can have some more other option another WPML free alternative is local translate it's more like a string tra translation you have to do that translation also one by one and it's now including the APIs for Deeple. So also you probably have known about Deeple. Deeple it's a really good translation service. So if you want to or aim to do that connection or integration with WordPress, local translate could be also one option. Translate Press also has the Deeple translation. So that's those are things to consider if you're aiming for automatic and really good and accurate translation. WPML has that. So those are plugins that can help you to do that translation. Another free alternative, and this was once of the plugins that I started using when I was early building my website with uh, an international translated content. WP Globus is for free, but they also has, have their premium versions. So if you're aiming to translate a WooCommerce or even a content website, that premium version could also help. And the last one that I want to talk and mention is Polylang. Polylang also has a free version. You can easily start translating uh, your website. And of course, as a business itself, they also have the Polylang Pro version. They have even more features in comparison to the free version. As you can see, mainly the URL translation and also the metadata translation is one of the main focus to translate. Obviously, if you're aiming for international SEO, it's an important thing to consider and to translate, to have it localized. So most of the websites that, that have that jump to a paid version, it's mainly because of the URL. So if you're looking for a WPML free alternatives, those are some of the plugins that you can use. They are helpful, yes, for translations, but of course there are some advantages and disadvantages between of those. I'm still using WPML. I had found it really easy to use, although they add some more database or make bulky the database. Not that much, but still, even though it has that disadvantage, now with the integration with Deeple, it makes really easy and faster the translation. It's connected directly. And also I don't have the limit of word count and 
and also I can have plenty number of languages. But my top choice probably, if it's not for the budget, probably Wiglot uh, could be the best option since it's really high accurate and fast the translation. But I see the disadvantage of the word count limit due to a more of a budget. It's but it's really really good plugin. So it depends on your budget, on your needs, and on the size of your website. But if you're having a, a normal content website that you want to have in multiple languages, WPML is a really good option. So I hope that this video helped you to know, to be aware of that there are some free plugins that can be used. If you have some questions or comments, don't hesitate to write down the comments. Thanks for watching. Thank you.